Friends, today Paul shares with us a secret of happiness. Crumbs from Gerard. There is great gain in godliness with contentment. For we brought nothing into the world and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we shall be content. In a world today when more is not enough and where we desire more and more and we want it now, here Paul gives us the secret of real happiness. And the first thing is to be content. What does it mean to be content? Negatively speaking, to be content is not to focus on what is impermanent. For he says, We brought nothing into the world and we cannot take anything out of the world. On the words of Job, Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. So, we don't focus on things that are impermanent. He says, if we have food and clothing, with these we shall be content. Obviously, when he's saying food and clothing, what he means is the essentials for life. That's all that we really require. That is enough for us to live a content life. But then, so negatively, not focusing on what is impermanent, positively focusing on what is permanent, and that is eternal life. So our whole focus is therefore godliness, our relationship with God, our desire to do His will. So what does it mean in practice? One, relationships, our relationship with God and with His people, building strong, good bonds with people. And secondly, living a value-based life. With this, we can live a content life. Pope Francis' grandmother would say, burial garments have no pockets. In other words, we can't take things with us. And now your minute meditation. What do you want to take with you when you die? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.